Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Sword Art Online re Hollow Fragment today. And when we start off the show, can we get some hype for Gaming Hour who sent over this copy of Sword Art Online? It's a whole lot of fun. We have been fighting on the 80th floor, and we're going to see if we can find the 80, 80th floor boss. Let's see if we can find this guy. Now guys, if you don't know the channel, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see what happens uh, on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Sword Art Online. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of nine. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. We're past the halfway point. The 28th entry in the Twitch playbook just came out this morning. It is called Making Your Streams More Watchable. And that's going to help you to not only make your streams visually clearer and uh, easier to see, but also make it easier to understand for all the viewers who are watching at home, no matter what kind of device they're watching on. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create uh, your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an, ex an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so there is plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, uh, welcome in, everybody. Let's do some sword art onlining. We have Frost Fairy in the stream. We have Gaming Hour in the stream. We have Space Dust in the stream. We have Alpha Team in the stream. Welcome, everybody, into the show. How you been doing, Alpha Team, by the way? I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back to the streams. Gang R gets to catch a live SAO stream. Been watching the VODs. Nice. Yeah, welcome to the live fumbling. We, we finally beat that one boss that we died on like five times. And now I feel that we, we have crossed a threshold where I'm, I'm now a sword art master. There's no fumbling here. I'll not fumble at all. No, we're in the hollow area right now, which is pretty rough. <laughs> we'll try to stay away from all the like super leveled enemies that are uh, around because... This is like you turn a corner and you might find an enemy that's like really, really, uh, really, really crazy. Just like several, several levels above you. So we gotta be careful here. We gotta be careful. Welcome Fifth Horseman to the stream as well. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Fifth Horseman joining the show? Oh nice, just finished episode 27. You're loving it. You highly recommend it to any fans of Nick or streamers in general. That's amazing. Thank you so much for the love. Can we get some hearts for that Twitch playbook love? in the chat. Let's get some hearts in there. Here we go. Let's do it. So let's see what we got here. Oh, right, we're in, so what we're trying to do right now Let's open this up. The hollow map. We're trying to get to, we're right here. It's like somewhere around here. We're in like this maze area right now and up in the northern area. So we probably want to go to that, maybe like directly north one or possibly the west one. But there's like five different areas in this maze and we have to find the one that's northernmost because that's going to have the uh, the field of flowers that we're looking for, which is on our events list. Hold on. It's this thing that we've never found in like our however many hours we've played this game so far. We've never found this thing. So now we're really trying our best to uh, figure out where the heck it is. All right, let's take down some regular enemies first. Here we go. What is everybody up to tonight? It is 6.22 p.m. in LA, 9.30 p.m. on the East Coast. What are you guys doing? What are your plans for the weekend? Get him, baby. The yellow pulse. Here we go. Space Dust getting those hearts. Thank you, Space Dust, for the hearts. Twitch playbook love. It is very much appreciated, the uh, the praise, Fifth Horseman. 
Thank you for that. But let's see. Maybe we can just go directly north from here. Frost Fairy getting those hearts as well. Thank you, Frost Fairy. The rainbow hearts. Hold on, let's uh, press this button. There we go. Gary, I gotta work, we gotta work tonight, but I'm gonna watch the stream while I get ready to work, since it takes like an hour for me to get ready. There you go. Plenty of time to watch some Flower Man killing. Boom! Look at our new outfit, by the way. It's looking real good. I like this new outfit. I didn't realize you could actually change, because it seemed like the black uh, trench coat was gonna kind of like be his signature look. So I was like, okay, maybe they don't let you change his look. But uh, no, they totally do. <laughs> they totally do. Wait, how do I do this? What am I doing? What did I do? Oh, I have to activate the attack first. Okay, get him. Now we can do it. That was quick. Damn, Kirito, you're getting too powerful for your own good. That's it. Okay, I believe this is what we want. Here we go, here we go. Now, let's do it. So we want to go, we're in the Forest of Spirits. This might be it. Otherwise, it's one over to the west. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Aha! That looks like a field of flowers. Oh, let's hope for the best, guys. Oh, baby. Alpha Team sending hearts. Thank you, Alpha Team. Ooh, we got a cutscene? Hmm? It looks like there aren't any enemies around here. This place is bathed in warm sunshine, too. It's a lovely spot. It might be a nice idea to come back here sometime for a picnic. What? Is that all we got? What? That's what we've been looking for this whole time? Well, it's off our menu, at least. Oh, wait. Now it says, speak. go to Agile Shop alone and speak to Asuna about the Field of Flowers. That was what we've been looking for this whole time. It was like three words. All right, we have to go have a picnic with Asuna, I guess. Oh, man. Well, let's figure out where uh, where the teleport stone is. Fifth Horseman getting those hearts. Thank you, Fifth Horseman. Alpha Team saying, picnic. I'm ready for a picnic. I am down. It better be the best picnic ever after all this. This took us so long to find. It took us like 25 hours to find this field of flowers and that's what we get for it. Maybe, the, maybe we'll get a good item when we go on the picnic. That seems like something they would do to us in Yakuza. <laughs> Just very cheeky, uh, very cheeky way of, of, uh, of handling it. Okay, ooh, who's this guy? Flower Woman. Flower Woman is purple. Flower Man is green. Sure. I don't know if that's constant or if that just happens to be a purple. I don't know if they're like always purple. Gaming Hour getting those hearts. Thank you, Gaming Hour. Where'd you go, B? There you are. The yellow pulse. So we're also trying to level up Leepa. That's kind of like what we've been here for. Leepa has gone from level, I believe like 81, hey, to level 90. Get some hearts for the timing on that one. So level 90 is pretty darn good. That's only 17 levels under us, and we're the highest level person here. That's only 10 levels under Asuna. Because I think Asuna is the highest and she's level 100, I want to say. Guild, no, it's in Friends. Asuna is 101. So yeah, she's pretty close to Asuna now. Game Hour getting those hearts. Alpha Team getting those hearts. Thank you guys. We have a lot of love today. Let's see, we wanna go back through here, and then uh, we wanna go, there's like a big ol' area over here. Space Dust getting some hamburger hearts. Oh, I want some hamburgers. I want a hamburger, or many hamburgers. Oh, hold on, we might have a message for that flower thing. This is from Shinon. Don't tell me, you're off gallivanting out there, making us all proud, am I right? Well, some of us are worried that you're overdoing it, so take it easy, okay? I'm just, I'm going for that one. Shinon got the, the, the Western accent, the Southern Belle accent. Okay, let's, uh, 
the nice thing here is that this whole area is a maze, but since we've only discovered this one tiny zone, we can't really get lost in it, because we can just follow exactly where the <laughs> where the map has been uncovered. Big hits. Damn. Oh. Gaming Hour picking up the keys to a new place on Monday. Cable and internet set up Tuesday. Wow. Wait. To the new place. Are you moving? I don't think I knew that you were moving somewhere, Gaming Hour. Very exciting stuff. Whoa. Wait. Is this a new zone? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is where, this is the Tomb Before Darkness, which is where you can see that there's treasure chests we haven't gotten, but those are so, the enemies there are so powerful that we just can't get them. <laughs> we just can't get the items. Foster saying congrats. Can we get some hype for gaming hour, ladies and gents? Taran Does this say tarantula or tarantacula? I would accept either. Alpha team getting that hype? Oh crap! The spider jumped out of our way! He's a fast spider. Just like every spider. I it's like I could count on one hand the amount of spiders I've actually been able to kill versus the ones that I attempt to kill and then they run so fast that like they just fall fall somewhere and you can't find them and then you have to move to a different house because the spider is going to take revenge on you. That's what happens when most, with most spiders I encounter in real life. Got him. Here we go. So we want to go like this. Now, we want to go... I guess we just want to take down as many guys as we can on the way. Space Dust get that hype as well. Ganner saying, your uncle decided it was time for you to move out. Nice! Oh, wow. Leafa is just killing it with the level ups. Um, that's exciting, Gaming Art. That is exciting stuff. It'll be even more exciting on Tuesday when the internet gets set up. <laughs> Everything's more exciting with internet. Okay, so that's a Hell Priest level 99. That's pretty high level. Let's try and get one of these guys. No! Okay, well we got two. That's not that bad. We had to fight all these guys at once last episode, and I think they might have killed us. But now, see, now it's just like one and one. She gets to fight the other skeleton. I fight this guy. Well, ostensibly I'm fighting this guy. It doesn't seem like I'm doing any damage, though. Who is, where is this guy? Oh crap, we just pulled them all. No! Okay, wait, skeleton spy, get out of here. We wanna fight this guy. Wait, the hell priest just ran away. They all just went somewhere else. All right, hey, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, that was a different hell priest, okay. Well, I think we're good with the poison. We just have to wait it out so that we don't um, have half health when we're fighting these guys. So let's pour a cup of coffee real quick. Oh, damn. I'm also taking bleed damage, I think. Those guys really did a number on us. Now I can understand why they would have killed us in a big fight. Because if they all do status effects to you like that, you just get thrashed. Oh, look at this. Ready? Ready for this draw distance? It's here. The forest floor is here. Yoink! Now it's a sky. 
Now it's a forest. Now it's a sky. Now it's a forest. Video games. Fuck it. Let's eat a uh, potion. There we go. Get it, baby. Now we want to go to... I think down here is gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If we go back up, we will get a teleport crystal, unless there's one right here. No. This, oh, this is the area where you have to be stealthy. We're never gonna be able to do that though. Okay, we have to go like this. And to the left. This is a big area. There's a huge amount of stuff here. The hollow zone is cool. I wanna explore this more. Belief is at level 91, which is now exactly 10 levels under Asuna. Let's just kill every enemy on the way, so we like guarantee that she gets as much as we can. Because once we get back to the main base, Asuna is going to have to come with us. Fight, fight! There we go. That's it. So we want to go like this. We're going to take the first left, I believe. Good stuff. Oh, big hits. Oh, Game Error changed over to Spectrum. You had AT&T, it would drop from 100 megabits per second to five. Oh yeah, the, uh, the, the wiring of a, like, internet thing can be really important. Because that can definitely uh, mess it up. That was part of our problem, and we got them to fix, like, the, the wires that were running through the house. You're saying uh, the house is old enough that we Miss the installation of fiber optics for high speed internet. So your hashtag thanks spectrum will now be my hashtag thanks spectrum. There you go. We can do it together. <laughs> Luckily, thank, uh, I've been able to very often say thanks spectrum in a genuine way because they've actually been really reliable recently. The most recent fix that they did in my internet has been pretty, uh, pretty solid. So, uh, I can now say that Spectrum is a an internet company that you can trust. Uh, once once they fix their once they fixed my internet, I can say that it must have just been a really hard thing to fix, I guess. So now we want to go back to this to Arc Sophia. We want to go to Agile Shop. I think we can. No, I think we have to actually walk over there. Did we get any missions? No, we didn't. Okay, so Agile Shop, I'm gonna guess, is in the green zone? I still don't remember it. This one's the blue zone that we're in. The green zone is what? This is right, okay, good. Town Square. Yes, see. Mm, no, I thought I was supposed to... Oh, I have to be alone. Okay, hold on. Hey, Leaf, I have something to tell you. First of all, it's chat. Uh-huh. You know, you're always working so hard. Nice. I don't understand all these interactions. That's how it is. What happens if I don't say anything? Oh, I just did nothing. Well, that was our conversation, I guess. What? 
The conversation system is really weird. I do not understand it. Little Rock Painter, welcome to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Little Rock joining the show? We are playing Sword Art Online Re Hollow Fragment right now. So now it didn't work. Hold on. Let's look at this again. Do I, does it have to be at day or night? Go to Agile Shop alone. Speak to Asuna about the field of flowers. Okay, maybe we have to. Are you, you're not Asuna? Are you a named character? No. Asuna is not here, but maybe we have to come back in alone. That might be it. Ready? There we go. Yui, I'm back. Uh, now that I think of it, not for a while, no. I've been so busy with clearing the hollow area. What do I make of him? Alright, I got it. Thanks, Yui. I'll go ask Asuna if she wants to go out somewhere. I'll go see her right now. Asuna, are you there? Well, I was, but I came back early today. That's right. I haven't spent much time with you recently, so I thought it might be nice to take some time off for you. Haite would mean, come in. Haite would mean, like, it would be like telling somebody to enter. That's interesting. We just learned about hi how you do. Thanks. It's been a while since I was last in Asuna's room. Hi, Dozo. Thanks. I'm doing alright, I guess. Sokka. So I found this really nice spot in the hollow area recently and I was thinking you wanna have a picnic with me? I mean, yeah, of course. Are you sure you want to? Damn, she was starved for attention right there. I feel bad now that we've been ignoring her. Jumping at the chance to hang out with Kirito. What a jerk Kirito is. Wait. How, what do I do now? Hold on. Go to the field of flowers. Oh, now we have to go with Asuna. So we're... Aha! We'll use our newly acquired knowledge of how to find her. Wait. She's on... What? 76th floor trader's way. Is that a... Is that in here? Maybe that's the shop district. Otherwise, we're going to have to go find her somewhere. Gary's saying I love Louis. Yui. Yeah, Yui, uh, I, I still don't understand the nature of her character. She's an enigma to me. But I, uh, I have enjoyed the... Oh wait, that's her right there! I've enjoyed their interactions a lot. Wow, we just stumbled right upon her. And then, oh, Yui's here too. We're supposed to give her this thing. This might break up our party, but we should do this. Yui, I brought you something. Sure is. You're always such a good girl. I guess the universe thought you deserved it. Of course I am. I wouldn't have given it to you if I didn't want you to have it. <laughs> I 
パパのお土産きれいです It's one happy little girl, all right No matter what the shop would have paid me, it couldn't be worth more than this Oh Uh, she said, Papa no omiyage wa kirei desu, which means、uh, Papa's gift or like souvenir is beautiful. But the way they described it was, it's so pretty and sparkly, which I think is, and they didn't say anything about like the possessive Papa's、uh, souvenir. It's just interesting to see, because that obviously informs the way you're supposed to like prioritize words. Like, obviously, it doesn't seem like the Papa no Omiyage part is like necessary to like translate. Interesting. a l b e r t i n e saying adorable! Yeah. I like Yui. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go this way, and then. We haven't found a teleporter here, so we just have to go. It's a pretty easy shot, though. We go from here to here, then we just go directly. North. Once we get into the forest, we go directly north. We have to go to the north on this one, too. I don't think we really need to fight anybody, though, with Asuna. a s u n is pretty well leveled up already. Just a million characters are <laughs> running towards us. We're just pulling a big train of enemies. There we go. Oh, nice. Alpha Team's up to episode 15 on Sword Art Online. Nice. I have、uh, never seen the show before. And what we're doing on here is、uh, we're. I haven't seen the show, so it's like.、Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on just based on the game. And、uh, I've actually sort of learned most of the characters' names already, so I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud of that. But、uh, a lot of the stuff I still haven't、uh, filled in. It's a big mystery. Adds to the mystery of the, of the game in general, of the story. It looks like a cool show, though, from what I've seen of the game. It seems like it's well made to. To be a video game or to like, you know, be adapted into a game. So now, yeah, we want to sort of head up this way, and then this should be the forest right up here. Alpha saying I love swords, so it really just works with me. Yeah, well, it, see, it's right in the title. If you're searching swords on Google, Possible that Sword Art Online might even show up. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's、uh, head into the Field of Flowers. Hooray! How about here? You bet. I've been looking forward to the lunch you made so much. Made sure not to eat anything on the way here. I know what this is. It's the same sandwich you made for me a long time ago, isn't it? And this cup has my drink in it, right? What is this? Right. Whoa! This is miso soup? How did you. <laughs> You're a genius. It really tastes exactly like miso soup. <laughs> it's delicious. And more than just being delicious, it sort of tastes like home. <laughs> I never thought I would taste miso soup in SAO. Then again, I never thought I would taste soy sauce here either until you made it. Oh, thanks for lunch, it was really, really good. No, when someone does something nice for you, you have to say thank you. Even married couples can't forget the basics. 
When we get back, let's have miso soup again. This time with Yui. Wait a minute, she will. She's our daughter, after all. Alright, I think it's time to pack up. What's up, Asuna? Where? I'm looking, but I don't... Wait, you're right! Something's shining over there! Got it. Asuna, watch out for traps. What's inside? They certainly have an interesting shape. Maybe are those waves? No, nothing like that there yet. Maybe we can use those keys in the next area? I'll keep them with me. If I find out where they can be used, will you come and try them out? Will do, Asuna. You got the irregularly shaped key. <laughs> Ironically, a key item. Over miso soup. That was nice. Can I get some hearts for that nice moment? And some hearts for the fact that I was right and we did actually get an item for doing that mission. Good stuff. Alpatine saying, picnic successful! <laughs> Mark that one off as a victory. Better than, better than a victory in battle is a victory in picnic. Alpha Team and Prosperity getting those hearts. Thank you guys. That was good. That was very good. Now, we want to... We finally got that thing off of our quest list. It was bothering me forever that I couldn't figure out where that was. Now we want to figure out where... Philia is in the administration area. Use the pendant. And find the Labyrinth Tower. How many of these quests do we have left? Two. Okay. So we need to... I don't think we've ever actually even gone to the 80th floor. I think we've just been doing missions on the other floors once we got to the 80th floor. Space Dust getting those hearts as well. Thank you, Space Dust. Oh, Space Dust getting the taco hearts. I want some tacos. Space Dust keep get, keeps getting the hearts of things that I want to eat. Frostberry getting those curry hearts as well. Damn, I'm hungry. You can tell when I'm hungry because I notice all the different foods that come up in our emote sets. Okay, now we want to go around and uh, back to the teleporter zone. Because we don't need to fight anyone with Asuna. It would be like, they wouldn't be strong enough to challenge her, I don't think. What is her level with us? Oh, rank three, intimate. Okay, so then can I hold hands? What is it? No, we cannot hold hands. That's a level four thing, I guess. I'm curious what it's like if you uh, chat with Asuna. Like, does she have a better chat with you than level two characters? Let's check on that. Because I've noticed that all level two characters, you can only say two things to them in a chat. But maybe that dictates how many things you can say to them. Although I don't even know what the chatting is for, so we're gonna have to figure that out, I guess. Hold on, let's see. No. Oh, the enemy is still... Is that... That guy's not fighting us anymore, okay. Oh, we can't chat with her. Oh, maybe you have to do that in, uh... In the main area. You might have to do it in the Einkrad. So let's turn around. Alpatine might stay up all night watching SAO. It's got you got the itch, got the SAO itch. 
glad I could be of assistance. There we go, now we can chat. So how many conversation options do we get? Look, her time to chat is higher. Damn, we're not really building that meter that high though. Yeah. Whoa, what happened? I clicked and it changed. The time to chat changed. Oh, so we got four conversation options. Oh, we were so close to getting to that first level. Mm. Now what's our our character info? Still rank three. I don't I don't really know where the the points for that are. So we want to probably bring. Uh, who do we want? We probably don't want to. I don't think we need to bring um, Lifa. She's at level 92. Sort by level. Let's untrack Lifa. Shinon is our lowest once again. So let's put Shinon back in. And where is Shinon? Teleport. Oh. What? Where? Where are you, Shinon? There you are. That was pretty cold of me. Right after our, like, picnic thing, just, like, talk to someone else and, like, alright, see you later, Austin. I, like, not even gonna properly, like, say goodbye or anything. Okay, so now we want to go to the, I guess, to the 80th floor. Um, all the other things were like just helping people, so I don't think we need to do that immediately. Hey, the Goonie coming in with a big old cheer, wrapping up an 80-hour work week. My mind and body are exhausted. Can we get some hearts for the Goonie, ladies and gents? That sounds really intense. Thank you so much for the cheer. Oh, thank you, Gaming Hour, for posting that cheer message as well. Let's get a voice in here for the Goonie. Thank you, the Goonie, for that cheer. And get some uh, very well-deserved rest. But not before we do a cheer voice. Here we go. How about this one right here? My name is the Selvendus Flower Salesman. I am in Selvendus Forest. I'm a, a wood elf who lives in the trees. And I have snakes coming out of both my arms. And what I do is I send those snakes down to the ground from the branch of the tree. It bites onto a flower and picks it up. And then I have a nice flower that I try to hand to beautiful boys and girls and say like, here, take this flower. And then they say, no, I, that's a snake holding the flower. And I say, oh yeah, I forgot that my hand was a snake. So it probably looks like it's going to bite you, but it won't. Nobody believes me. They never believe me. So I've been a very bad flower salesman, but I've been trying to think of getting into the uh, sneaking, uh, being a sneaky snake killer guy game instead. That could be my new profession. I could stand in the trees and kill people with my snake arms and then, I don't know, sell their teeth or something? I, I haven't thought the rest out. If they have gold teeth though, that, that could be a money maker right there. That's the Selvendus flower salesman. Uh, Oh, well, luckily we didn't run into him in the field of flowers that we found. Let's get a marker in here for the Selvendus. Vin... Look up spelling. Flower salesman. Good stuff. He, uh, he doesn't... Nobody wants to, to, to buy his flowers. Uh, thank you so much to the Goonie for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice of Nick Boy straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100, as the Goonie certainly has done, gets to summon a brand new voice of Nick Boy straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse, verse. Thank you to the Goonie. It is highly appreciated. We have new cheerleaderboards now as well. Let's get those on screen. We have in third place, Gaming Hour with 375 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Second place is Soong Yen with 600 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Soong Yen. First place is the Goonie with 1,000 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to the Goonie. Thank you so much to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. Now let's jump 
into the Sword Art Online and see if we can't uh, make our swords turn into art. Here we go. Now we want to go to 80th floor. Car Carliana? Carliana. Oh, you know what we also want to do is buy a bunch of potions. Do we need any more of this stuff? I don't think so. Avatine's saying, I missed the energy of Nick. Oh, that's our new channel, the energy of Nick. <laughs> Welcome, Alpha Team. Glad to have you here. Um, you're saying, I'm a sneaky snake. That's him. He'll get you. He'll get you. The <laughs> Selvendus flower salesman. My phone keeps trying to tell me to update. Even in the middle of watching Twitch, my phone will pop up with a thing that says, like, do you want to update your iOS version? No, I don't want to update it. Actually, yes I do. It's probably a good time to do it. Okay, it is now downloading the update. That is, it's probably a good time to do it while you're on a stream. Because I have other means of monitoring the stream anyway. Okay, now, armor, item, weapon shop. I don't think we need any of this stuff, but let's take a look real quick. These are probably just gonna be basic items. Oh, black hound suit is actually pretty good. Holy crap, it costs three and a half million dollars? Well, I don't have that kind of money. Death's fear? Oh my god. Anybody want to spend three and a half million dollars on a suit of armor for me? And gift it? Oh man. Alright. Item shop? Oh no, we did that. Weapon shop? It's probably going to be expensive too. Damn, the stuff in this game is really expensive. A shovel? That's a two-handed sword. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. We don't want to sell any of these items, but we could sell the equipment, right? Yeah, so we can sell just like the lower one of each. Yeah, because we have like three, three daggers. Like, at most we'll need one, because we'll probably give it to whichever of our characters uses daggers. So we'll just sell the worst ones. Black leather. I think that's his basic. Actually, I don't know which one is his basic. Whatever. We're using new costume stuff now. It's the new Kirito. Oh, I should have changed. I Damn. We had Asuna right there. We should have changed her outfit. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, now, what is all this? De -de -de. These are all pretty bad. We need to keep two swords though, so we'll keep these two. We're gonna get rid of our corrupted uh, swords. They were good for early game, but they didn't scale really. They're just like the Drake sword. Okay, which things are good to sell? Sellable, sellable, sellable. Bee stinger, crab legs. Oh wait, but these are all things that like, we're not gonna sell any of this because uh, they might be quest items. I remember things like this, robust thigh bone, like all these kinds of things being things that you could uh, give someone on a quest. Okay, so let's actually go to the 76th floor again. Remember when I said we were going to the, uh, I lied, to the 80th floor? We're gonna go find Asuna. Where are you, Asuna? Oh, you got a message. You're getting a weird vibe from these keys too? Like there's something more to them. Make sure to let me know if you find what they open, okay, Kirito? All right, she's in Trader's Way. So let's go back to Trader's Way. I believe that is the green. I'm a master of Selvendis, or no, Arc Sophia. I know everything about Arc Sophia. Now, where are you, Asuna? Maybe she was around here. No. Not there. Not there. Where are you? Is this Trader's Way? Oh no, Trader's Way is where all the shops are. Ah, I'm not a master yet, apparently, of Arc Sophia. Not a master quite yet. There she is, always hanging out right at the entrance. 
All right, so we just want to form a party with her long enough to uh, give her her new outfit. Give armor. The bloody cloth. Wait, so... Maybe you can only give armor to somebody who is... A level three, maybe that's why you want to level up your your familiarity, because maybe you can gift them armor when they're level three. So we can give her Gale Garb. I thought she's wearing a bloody cloth. This says equipped. Is that the thing I'm wearing? <laughs> Would I give her the shirt literally off my back? I cannot give her that. I can give her the dress shirt. Arigato. Is it any good? I don't even know the stats. Oh. Wait! I didn't give her any pants, though! There's only a shirt involved in this costume. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, sure. Character info. What is her... View armor parameters. Defense 50. Agility 60. XP up. See, that's really good. So now she's going to be better at uh, leveling up. Now let's see what her old thing was, the bloody cloth. Asuna. Dress shirt. Oh, this is saying what she's currently wearing. Who's Sachi? I don't know. Equipment. Now where is that other thing? Gale garb. Mm, I don't see it. Maybe it's like we can't actually access it. Oh well. This is probably fine. Alright, now where's Shinon? Teleport gate, okay. Here we go. Gaming Hour is saying, I have that amount of colon S-A-O-I-F, but it won't transfer over. Dang it. It won't or you won't. <laughs> it won't or you choose not to. Hmm. Frost saying, um, no. What? Who wouldn't want to give me 3.5 million chump change? 3.5 million dollars? That better be a really good sword or piece of armor. It costs 3.5 million. Okay, now we have Shinon, and we can't gift her stuff, right? Oh, what? Ah! I was able to give it to her this whole time! Oh my god, wait a sec. Okay. Oh! Now we have to go back. <laughs> we have to go back, take the thing from Asuna. Because the point is, we're trying to get them to get be higher uh, XP gain. We're trying to get. <laughs> Dang it! Where'd she go now? Wait a second. Bok Choy is raiding, ladies and gents. Welcome in, Bok Choy and raiders. Coming into the stream. We are playing Sword Art Online re -Hollow Fragment right now. Can we get some hype in that chat? Exclamation mark hype in there for the bok choy, for a bok choy rather, uh, and the bok choy raiders. I like that, it's like a, like a band title. I, it looks like you changed your uh, profile picture as well. Looking real good. Flipper D00 coming in. Bok choy, Stavis Rar coming in. Welcome guys into the show. So rare that you get to host me. Thank you so much, Bakshoy. It's very, very highly appreciated. What were you playing today, and how did your stream go? Can we get some shout-out? Oh, we do have a shout-out. Thank you, Frost. I didn't even see. Dragon Age Origins, nice. I know at least one big Dragon Age fan in this chat right now. I have played a bit of Origins, and it was really, really cool, uh, but I've never finished it, so I'm excited to, uh, to try that series out on stream as well. How'd you enjoy it? How did it go? Lonely Turkey, welcome into the stream as well. Thank you so much for sharing your community with me, Bok Choy, and I hope you had a great stream. You love Dragon Age, nice. So is this your, you, you've played it before then? Oh, your favorite series of all time, nice. My uh, favorite series of all time is Metal Gear Solid, and I've been waiting to play it on stream. We have not yet um, broken ground on the Metal Gear Solid series yet. It's a big undertaking, I guess. Um, guys, welcome to the show. Anybody who doesn't know my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day, 
and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here and I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game. If you wanna see which games are being played on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Sword Art Online Rehollow Fragment. Welcome into the show, guys. We're currently trying to um, take the clothes from one of our uh, side characters and put them onto a different side character because I gave clothes to the wrong person. Now I have to go take them back. That's a terrible gift-giving uh, mentality there. <laughs> Uh, a Voxroy saying, how do you keep track? Seven gameplay series. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, actually. I, I uh, people have asked me that before. I'm not really, I, that's just how I like to play games, I guess. But I, I definitely, uh, yeah, like the story is always important to me. So I, I, uh, I don't know. You would think I would only play one. That's just the way I've always done it when I, since I was a kid. Because I can't like play a game for like too long at the same time or like in a row without getting sort of like uh, burnt out on it. But I can play seven at the same time. I can play seven. Okay, so now, unfortunately, Asuna, I'm going to take your armor back. Now, how do I do that? Give me your armor. Return to default? Okay, could you take this? Equipment. Okay, good, good, good. Good stuff. A bok choy is mostly doing good, but fending off a massive headache, so you should stop staring at a screen. Sorry to host and run, but I hope you've all been well. Bok choy, you're amazing. By the way, I, I didn't say, uh, but you guys should absolutely follow. Bok choy, who is a very entertaining, very energetic streamer, and you are going to love what you see. We met bok choy playing, I believe the first, maybe it was Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, I want to say. One of the Kingdom Hearts, we, we were concurrently doing our Kingdom Hearts series playthroughs at the same time, and we, we had the the good fortune to meet Bok Choy uh, during that, and uh, now we're both done with Kingdom Hearts, and we're moving on with our lives, but there's plenty of other amazing games to play, so uh, go check out Bok Choy's channel, join some of that Dragon Age, and uh, I know you're going to like what you see, so if you like what you see, hit that follow button up on top of Bok Choy's channel. Bok Choy, have a fantastic day. Can we get an exclamation mark hearts in that chat for Bok Choy and that raid? It is very highly appreciated. <laughs> Frost saying Nick is magic. I, I uh, don't like to advertise it. The government might try to experiment on me or something if they find out. But yes, I am magic. Welcome T Bower to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for T Bower joining the show? And now, if we, we're going to take. Put on back in the party. Give her the, the shirt that ups your XP gain. And then we're all good. Give armor as a gift. There we go. Game and Error getting those hearts. Frost Ray getting those hearts. Once again, thank you to Bok Choy. Okay, dress shirt. Do it. So we're going to see if... I want to see if it's um, better than her existing gear as well. Character info. Armor parameters. This has 120 defense. Uh-oh, uh, I think this is going to be worse. Uh-oh, this is actually a really good piece of armor. <laughs> Whoops. 120 defense, 20 poison, 20 paralysis, 20 bleeding, sl 5 slash thrust, blunt resistance. This is actually really good. Let's see what this one is. This is 50 defense, 0 resistances, but it does have really high agility, and it gives you more XP. We're min-maxing, ladies and gents. Okay. We'll take the hit on damage. Because we're going to get the XP gain. And now, what's her name is in the shirt. Why don't you give her pants too, Kirito? It's just a big oversized shirt. It looks like... Well, I don't want to see what it looks like. <laughs> Asuna would be mad if I said what it looked like. Here we go. First foray into floor 80. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. Wandering Maven Ravine. Cool. In order to get to the labyrinth, we have to get over that cliff. So do we have to make for that part that's sticking out? Yeah, that's the only path that connects to the next level. 
Oh, I think Shino might have said one of those lines. You know what I've noticed is that Sword Art Online and um, Tales of Symphonia both are based in uh, Norse mythology, and both of them have a giant tower that just goes straight up to the sky like this. Because uh, uh, Tales also had that. Very interesting. Oh, I want that shovel weapon! Look at that thing! Konnichiwa. Hello, Kirito! Thanks for coming by! I hate to ask, but I was hoping I could depend on your special set of skills with something, Kirito. Do you mind? So me and my party here are trying to slay us some monsters in the area. But here's the thing. We're getting our butts kicked. We'd love it if you could spare some time to come fight with us. It's just that they're so tough. You think you can help? Whoa. How far down is that? Those pants are very, very low. That seems... Well, as long as they're staying on, I guess. Because it's all straps. There's only straps around it. That's plunging very close to an uh, inappropriate zone there. Well, I guess we can't really say anything because Shino's not even wearing pants. As far as we can tell. I don't know what's going on. It is a cool outfit though. It's got like the armor. It's got like the... the. It's almost like a bomb disposal unit. You see the like thing around her neck. It's like a cool protector. Whoa! Why did you start fighting a level 150 guy? Get out of here! What are you doing? How am I going to help her do that? That's who they choose to fight. Get out of there! I can't help you! <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Alright, Shinon, you uh, use an HP rep There you go. Yeah, get out of there, get out of there. Oh my god, did they die? Oh my god. Did they die? We gotta go. Hold on, we gotta get back to town. That was crazy. Hold on, let's go back to the exterior. Did they just get killed? I don't know how to check. Friends. Who's the person that was on floor 80? Coco, 76, 77, 76, 78, 76, 76, 78, 6, 6, 6, 6. They're all in 76. 6, 6. I don't think there's anyone on floor 80. I think they literally got killed by that monster. And there was nothing I could do about it. It was way too powerful for me. Damn, they believe too too strongly in Kirito's uh, abilities. <laughs> oh no! All right, wait. Dead one. Oh no! They're dead. <laughs> Stavis Rara said in that F. Can we get some sad faces in that chat, ladies and gents? We're gonna stay very well clear of that pincer monster over there. It's just like a giant ant or something. Get away from that guy. Can we get some sad faces for that lady? We're in the camouflage. Uh, outfit. We don't even know her name. Hope maybe she'll. No, it's it's permadeath in this game, and it auto saves every time we go into a room. So it's already saved. The fact that she's dead. Damn. Howard Alyssa faced us. Davis Rar Alpha Team getting those sad faces. Thank you for paying your respects, ladies and gents. Wow. So she known as level 86. She's actually pretty. Uh, She's doing pretty well. Man, that guy's level 150. And he's just like in the middle of the level. <laughs> you could just accidentally run into him at any time. Alpha saying, nice shovel. Yeah, that shovel didn't really help out that much, did it? Oh man. A dungeon? Huh? Somebody's coming this way. Ah! Uh, what was that? There might be something terrible waiting ahead. Let's just be extra careful. Where'd that lady go, though? I guess she's just gone. Hello, sirs. What is your level? Oh god! Okay, well, they're fighting me. Luckily, they're not that powerful. So, she knows level 86. So, she's within distance. I think she's already included in the raid, but we want her to be, like, 
We basically just want to up everybody's general level. But we're going to have to make up for the fact that one of our people died. So that's going to lower our basic guild level. We have 925 right now. The recommended is 815. But this thing lies, because last time we were like 100 above the recommended, and it was still killing us. It killed us like five times. Okay. Elite. Oh, I get it. So manpower 108, but elite is the blue one, which is 95. So we want to get Shinon to 95 or above. And she's at 86. So that's not that far away. Oh, this looks like you go up there. Okay. Guess not. Damn, guys. I feel bad. What a creepy place. Even though they're called dungeons, there sure are a lot of different kinds of places. We don't know what lies ahead. Let's stay on our guard. Yeah, I know. Alright. We don't know what's in here. It seems like there might be a friendly here. Oh, that's him. Okay. S so strong. You okay? You saved me. Sorry, but I need to heal. Can you take care of this? Got it. Yeah, leave it to me. You heard the guy, Shino. Let's take down this enemy. Got it. Damn, this guy's big. Oh, he's not that strong. Come on, he's level 85. We've been through the hollow area, baby. We've dealt with bigger guys than this. <laughs> Got him. Did you, did you beat it? Yeah. I see, you really saved me. What are you doing trying to make progress on such a high floor? is this by yourself. It's just foolish. I wasn't by myself until just a little earlier, but as soon as my partner saw that monster, she bolted at full speed. The person we passed at the entrance. I invited her in town and was finally able to pair up with someone, but she turned out to not be so great with ghost-type monsters. In any case, you really saved me back there. Alright, I'm gonna hit the road. Let me see. So there are lots of that type of monster wandering around here. Just putting it out there, but I won't be running screaming into your arms anytime soon. Oh, how tough of you. Alright, let's forge ahead. <laughs> I'm saying Nick making fun of the weak. I'm making fun of the, uh, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> making fun of all the weak monsters. Only if they're monsters, though. I like to fill in every part of the map so that, like, if we come back here later, will know that, like, okay, I've definitely checked this entire floor. I didn't realize they differentiated the monsters by type. So, like, skeleton or ghost type might have different uh, weaknesses. Ooh. This is a cool dungeon. This is, like, a proper dungeon. It's not, like, a cave. It's, like, an actual, like, gross dungeon. With, with bars on the doors and everything. Okay. Oh, we got some river ore, nice. Got him. Oh, a sword skill? Wait, no! Ah. They always ask me to use the skills after I'm already done killing the enemy. And it's like, how am I gonna use it now? Ask me earlier, Shinon. Maybe I should wait for, for them to tell me to do something and then attack. Who's got the time, honestly? Who's got the time? Shinon, do something. There you go. Use a skill. I want her to get the kills for once, so that she gets more XP. I'm not sure if that really does anything for her. Okay, we got some Carmine Ore. Here, I think you just run through a gate. That's how powerful I am. I have the powers of vision. I can just like <laughs> move through solid objects. Kyrio has transcended to another plane of existence. Get him! Oh, this guy's just a skeleton pawn. 
feel bad for him. Sorry, skeleton pawns. That's a Mulus Van Coor. Oh, it's a rapier? Okay, we don't need that. I wonder if I'll ever try to switch, like if I would need to switch my weapons at some point. I'm not really sure when I would want to do that. Oh, you know what we haven't done though? We haven't um, bought any level ups in a long time. Although I haven't, oh, I got a key. All right. <laughs> Alvatine saying the casual overkill on these enemies. Yeah, we, uh, in trying to level up all our side characters, Kirito has gotten really leveled up. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can buy some skills. We have 25 points here. Dual wielding, we can actually just get a general better level on it, or we could buy more of these. Which takes seven points, okay. I just don't know if I would really want these. Parrying, footwork, oh, okay. Improves the entire party's chance, okay. Healing circle, I wanna get um, passive skills, but there's no more that I can buy. Defends against breath attacks. Results in sealing the monster's skills. That's probably good, let's buy that. Uh, so do we wanna add this to, I guess we could just move it, right? Yeah. What was this one? Parry, Onslaught, Burst Attack. Yeah, we want all these. Protection Prayer, Quick Step, Speed Demon. Maybe Slow Down? I wonder how you open the battle pallet in the middle of battle. Plus 25% damage increase to sword skills using dual wielding. Well, that's pretty good. Do I want these? High accuracy skills, 16 hits. Wow. Attack speed up. Yeah, this one just seems objectively better. Starburst stream. Oh, I don't have enough. Yeah, I do, I have enough points. Oh, I probably have to buy this. It's cost five. So how do I buy it? Oh, yeah. Wait. What the heck? Why can't I just buy the thing? Dude, I don't have to have bought all of the skills in the... What does it say here? You've not yet completed the necessary steps. Oh, I have to learn a certain amount of skills? Hmm, don't know. Maybe I have to get more points using the sword? Uh-oh, now there's monsters again. Uh, Dex plus 80. Hmm. Set the learn skill as your burst finish. No. Crimson Splash is capable of being a burst finish though? How do I look at my, uh, crap, these guys are fighting me. Ah, stop it. Let's try Phantom Break. I don't think we really need to do it on a non-boss, but. Did it work? I guess. I don't think it really makes a difference if it's not a boss. All right, so hold on. How do I do, how do I see my, uh, is it items? No. Equipment? Mm -hmm. Implementation? No. That's all hollow stuff. You can only do that in the hollow area. Controls, we have to check how to open that menu. Miscellaneous. Main and sub menu. It used to, maybe you have to press control and or shift and alt at the same time. Yep, wow, that's kind of an awkward thing to press, okay. So sword skill, this is a burst thing, but what's that new thing I got? It's Crimson Splash. 
So my existing is 5 hits, strength plus 70, inflicts defense down. This one is 8 hits, dex plus 80. But it doesn't tell you how powerful it is. Slightly longer to recast. Let's set this as the burst. We'll just give it a shot. And this one's called Deep Impact. Now where is Deep Impact? Oh, uh-oh. Whoa! What? I can edit the skill? What does this do? I can put... <laughs> what? I can put armor items into the skill? Why can I put armor on a skill? That doesn't make any sense. I have no idea why that works. Radial shine. There's a check mark on it. Huh. Gamera saying it's in Japanese. What can I say? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, it's Japanese. The which aspect? The putting an armor on a skill? That is pretty uh pretty strange. Let's try using Crimson Splash next. I gotta figure out which uh thing it's mapped to. Hold on. Here we go. It is left click. Oh, they cancelled it! Dang it! Very rude of you. putting armor on a skill. I wonder if that means like you get the effects of the armor like when you use the skill. All right, let's see if these guys respawn. There we go. Let's try Crimson Splash now. Whoa, big hit. That's pretty good. All right. Cuz it's just more hits than the other one. Oh, that was it. We used the key. Okay, good. And Shinon doesn't seem to be getting that much more XP. Let's check her... Uh, how do we check her XP? Uh, character info... Intimate. Max damage. Hmm. I think we have to do this. Friends, and then Shinon. Where's Shinon? Game hour, we gotta go and catch the rest on VOD. Thank you, Gaming Hour, for being a part of today's show. And once again, thank you for sending over the game. Can we get some exclamation mark bye for Gaming Hour heading out of the stream? Have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, I don't know how to find her... No. How you find her XP level. Maybe you can't find her XP level. Quest, guild, map... Maybe you can't find her XP level. Hold on, wait. Nani? Hold hands, talk about battle, pick up. Character info. It would have to be character information. Max damage. Affinity. Oh, we're at intimate level with Shinon. Okay. Oh, and that's why we're allowed to put armor on her. I get it. That, that supports my theory there. None of this stuff says XP, though. Maybe it just doesn't show you her XP. All right. Well, let's see if we can hold hands. Nope. Can we pick her up? Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Pick up? Nope. Can we... Can't chat, because you have to do that outside of the zone. That's a big move right there. Whoa, is that new? Radial Shine. Look 
got some more grand potions. Now, we want to go through here. Yeah, baby, look at that. Good stuff. stuff. Man, that move is really good. Okay, I like it. And that's also our default burst attack if we ever get the burst. Aha! We got the thighs. Okay. Now, what are our other quests? We want to get the treasure. In front of the labyrinth, get Talpid Steels. Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for Sword Art Online Rehollow Fragment today. We did a whole bunch of stuff. We had our picnic. We found the place that we've been looking for basically the entire game. And uh, now we are trying to level up Shinon and we gave her a fancy new outfit. Guys, that's going to do it for the show. Thank you everybody for joining the stream. Now, uh, we are going to raid at the end of this. So get that raid message copied down and get ready to jump into that next channel. It says Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or if you're on a platform that can't copy messages, then get ready to write a message uh, for the raid of your very own. What we want to do is make sure to post something into the chat of the next channel to show that we are coming in all together with the raid. So uh, you have a couple minutes to get ready, ladies and gents, but post it right on into the chat if you, uh, if you are feeling like in the mood for a raid. Space Dust, thank you for posting that right there, and let's take it out. Anybody who doesn't know the channel you're watching right now is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Sword Art Online. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top is a follower goal of nine. We are currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. We're past the halfway point. The 28th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one is called Make Your Streams More Watchable, and it's going to help you to raise the general visibility on your stream so that everybody knows what's going on, but also to make your streams, uh, what's going on in the stream, more understandable for the viewer by uh, sort of increasing, uh, changing some of the things about how you play your games. So if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so there is plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have in first place, Azur Tundra with $10. That is a gold star and a, a donation. Thank you to Azur Tundra. It is very highly appreciated. On the cheer leaderboards, we have in third place, Gaming Hour with 375 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Second place is Soong Yen with 600 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Soong Yen. And first place is The Goonie with 1,000 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to The Goonie. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it's tweaking the streams you see in front of you, whether it is uh, creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it's updating or adding things to the Wiki or Discord, whether it's writing, recording, posting all of the Twitch playbook entries, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Now let's see if we can find somebody to raid, ladies and gents. Let's take a quick look out there. and. Uh, 
I do want to throw out in there as well a big thank you to all the mods and admins who make these uh, streams, and just the community in general on the shows and in the Discord into the amazing community that it has become. So thank you to everybody uh, who helps to make that a reality as well. Now let's see if we can find a channel to jump into. We have, ooh, a couple of good ones right here. We have a couple of good ones. Ooh, we got a couple of good ones. I'm just gonna, my voice is gonna keep getting higher and higher pitched as I say, we have a couple of good ones. How about this one? It's an ad. Well, we'll be able to do it in a second, I believe. Uh, we're gonna get this one queued up. I think we'll be able to join this, so let's all say that we shall. Dizzy Dizzy Dino is currently doing a Just Chatting stream. Let's all join in there. Dizzy is amazing, uh, a lot of cool games on there. Uh, I think Dizzy's focus is usually puzzles and dragons, but we've seen a whole bunch of stuff on there. Dizzy has a really cool thing where uh, you can see the games that are not out in the US yet, because I guess Dizzy has some method of, uh, of acquiring Japanese games and playing them, but uh, can also live translate as the game is played. So that's a really, really cool concept. Wish I could do that. Maybe at some point we'll be able to do that on stream, but until then, Go watch Dizzy's channel, guys. If you haven't followed Dizzy already, get over there, and if you like what you see, hit that follow button. Now, uh, something's going on on screen. I don't actually know what this is, but it's gonna be exciting, whatever this is. So let's all enjoy this, uh, whatever is happening on Dizzy's channel right now. I will see you all later. We have one more video game stream coming up later today, and one secret stream, if you can find it. But until then, guys, bye-bye, and enjoy Dizzy's show. Don't forget to post that raid message, or if you can't copy and paste, things on your device, don't forget to write your own raid message and post it in the chat. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.